love how simple this machine is to use, like one push and a perfect coffee. My legs are sore right now. Ooh, favorite time in the morning, coffee of some description, in bed or otherwise. Oh, just the things that keep me happy, generally. Today we're going Christmas shopping together on Regent Street. Like a full day planned. I've even got Bridie to come and look after Bo for us. Like loads of Christmas shopping. So I'm really looking forward to like a bit of me and Alex shopping time. I always love doing this every year. Also, these, these are technically my Christmas present from Alex. He was like, what do you want? The only thing I really want is a new set of brand new mugs so that we have all matching mugs. And I really love just how like countryfied and so ho home vibes these are. Anyway, I'm gonna put my hair up in a bun while I do my makeup. And so I'm just gonna like prep it first. I'm gonna start with mousse. This is a Larry King mousse. And then Larry's hair volumizing mist. Also smells oil. And then Kerastase oil for the ends. I just like to apply quite a bit of oil just over the ends of the hair. So I am going to be styling my hair. I'm still obsessed with this robe, by the way. <laughs> this robe that I got that last, I think it was last year, actually. I got it from, um, it's a company called Plo, P-L-O-H, in the Philippines. And I had it delivered to Rebecca's place because the shipping to here was so extortionate and it was like barely anything to get it to America. I remember I picked it up last Thanksgiving. We didn't go to Thanksgiving this year with Rebecca. I'm really sad about it actually. I really, the, literally the only reason is because I got so busy the month before or like around the time I would normally book the flight. So I got so busy. I didn't even think about it. And then when it came to the point where I was like, right, I better book my tickets so we can get to Chicago. I realized that actually we'd put loads of things in the diary for last week. So like the Valentino event, the Bulgari event, lots of meetings that I had in the diary. So it would have meant I'd have to cancel a whole week that we'd put in the diary. And I felt it just looked really bad to do that. So in the end, we have to say, look, like this year, we can't make it. And it's, it's really, really rub like rubbish, but put a little bit of SPF on. Always wear your SPF. Foundation. Let's do Clay de Po 020. What else would I use? Oh, you know, I'm feeling, um, just do like a little update because it's always nice to do these things. I'm feeling really, really good this Q4. <laughs> this quarter four, it's obviously a very extremely busy time for anyone that, you know, is in content creation, etc. because you know, so much happens around Christmas. There's so many like promotions with Black Friday and sales and Christmas box sets and limited edition Christmas sets. You know, all of those sorts of things need promoting in some capacity, which, you know, it's almost like an influencer, a beauty influencer's bread and butter. It's a really great way to get like stuck in and promote some really incredible products from amazing brands. To you guys who may not know, you know, that, and our Armani's on sale right now or whatever. And then you're like, oh my God, I'll get my favorite foundation because it's on sale. Because of that, obviously it's an extremely busy time for me and the team, because not only do we do beauty, we also do fashion. And that's why I work on so many fantastic projects, which is so exciting, but it does often leave me rather frazzled when it comes to New Year's Eve. But this year, the fact that I've hired another employee, now I've got Rob on the team, Honestly, the fact that we've hired him, I can't tell you the difference it does to me mentally and how, I feel, how I'm feeling. I feel so much more easy breezy. I'm just feeling so much more on top of things. And I'm just like a lot happier at the moment. Things are good right now. I mean, this is like the first week. So maybe ask me about this on the 22nd when we finish for, finish for Christmas. But... Currently, I'm feeling good about everything that we're doing. I definitely cannot complain. That was the Power Fabric Concealer, by the way, Armani. It's just got a really nice, like, creaminess to it that I really, really like. Right, I'm almost ready. I'm gonna put on this lipstick. I wore this the other day on my stories. I can't tell you how many messages I got. I just wish now that I'd, like, 
let people know what it is. It's a Bobbi Brown lipstick in Pink Nude 308. And oh my God, so oh my, my GMs were flooded. Cause I mean, it's such a beautiful pink. It's a really beautiful pink. So I wish I'd just sort of said, it'd be a lot easier. Um, anyway, so that was that, right. Finally, let's get onto the hair. I'm going to air wrap it. This is going to be a paid for advertorial with Dyson. I've loaded up on my Edge of Ember pieces for any of you guys who managed to get anything in the 25% off sale. Awesome. The sale is no longer on anymore, but it was such, such a brilliant sale. So I hope some of you got some really great pieces. This is the chunky choker necklace. I love it, like layered over things like this. I'm gonna wear my Saint Laurent blazer um, with it. So I've gone for like my chunky pieces and then I've layered up my earrings with the malachite earring, the, the one stud, and then my two baubles. So this is the four topaz stone stud and the 14 karat, 14 karat solid gold stud, both that come in the Christmas baubles. And then also the Gaia collection multi-coin ear cuff. I'm going to use all of my Vinca Blue and Rosé pieces. If I haven't already banged on enough about these beautiful new products, this is Dyson's colorway for the festive season, the Vinca Blue and Rosé. These feel very Dyson, like these feel like the ultimate Dyson sort of colors. It's a really beautiful blue, purple toned Vinca Blue and then the rose, rose gold finish to this. And that goes all the way through into the air wrap and also into the corral as well. A really gorgeous color if you're someone who likes to kind of buy the newest shades um, or if you're someone who has been wanting to invest in a Dyson for a while, then you know, it's a really gorgeous shade to invest in. I get asked a lot, probably one of my most asked questions is, would I recommend someone buy the Corral first or the Airwrap first? Quite often this is coming from people who already have the supersonic hair dryer. And it's a really tough question. I always say, how do you like to style your hair most days? If the answer is, I prefer straight hair, then go for the Corral. If the answer is, I like to use a heat tool to get tousled waves or curls and I am really good at using a hair straightener or a hair styler to get curls, then I would say get the Corral. However, if you're someone who likes bouncy, blow-dried curls and you're the kind of person who either loves to go out to a hairdresser to get, to get a blow-dry for an event or if you're someone who wants really natural, bouncy waves and curls, and that's like your ideal for every day, then the air app is what you need. So it all completely depends on how you like to style your hair, because you're not gonna get straight hair with the air wrap in the same way that you're not gonna get big, bouncy curls with the corral. So my hair now is like, 85% dry like what I mean by that is so it's pretty much dry up here but as I start to get down here down the lengths of my hair it feels like damp it's sort of semi dry but it's damp that is what you want to get to like can you see that kind of texture it's got damp bits but it's also got dry bits it's 85% dry but <laughs> the idea is to kind of keep it like that when they're wet, the bonds are a lot more kind of weak and susceptible to, you know, bending or being manipulated in some way, which is why if you then air wrap the hair from slightly wet to dry, it allows the hair to almost set those bonds into a curl as they dry. Yes, science! This is a brand new air wrap with the long barrels. For anyone with long hair, you no longer have to buy the air wrap and then buy the extra barrels. You can just buy the long barreled version. Take a piece, comb it through. I then like to spray a hair product on each and every piece. So it could be a heat protectant with say like a styling product in it. Spray a little bit on, then I'll air wrap. So you just literally just twist it. Wind it round the barrel, up the top. Now I use my hand to disperse the hair across the barrel so that more hair is getting more airflow. I currently have it on the highest heat. Drop it down now to the mid heat. Now I'm gonna drop it down to the coolest setting and then I'm gonna push the cool shot button. So for me, it's like a little process. I kind of come down through the heat settings. So I'll go hot at first and then I like cool, 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 cool until the end. This is the curl. Obviously it won't stay like that and we wouldn't want it to, 
But for now, I just throw it over my shoulder and I just carry on with the next piece. Manageable pieces. You don't want to take absolutely enormous pieces that are just never going to dry or set correctly. And go again. Okay, and then the front piece. Same again. I don't want that too crazy, so I'm just gonna like pull it down and kind of into this piece. That is one side done, and that's taken, it would have been quicker. Probably took 10 minutes. Getting my favourite bit, my favourite bit. So then I just take my Dyson comb and just comb through it gently, because you don't want to like pull at it. So that's why I don't use like a brush like this because it would pull the hair too much whereas the comb just kind of allows it to all separate a little bit so it's not all glued together. It's all bouncy and beautiful and I just need to sort out these flyaways. So just take off the head of this, put on the flyaway attachment and away we go. Smoothed out, it just makes sure all of your hairs go in the same direction. Hairspray! So I hairspray up my curls, and that's it. Like beautiful, bouncy salon blowout hair. 15 minutes until we leave, which is not bad going for me. Usually I'm literally up to the wire. This is not too bad, I don't think. Perfume of the day, my favourite layers, Narcisa Rodriguez Pure Musk. And then covered over with Narciso Musk Noir. I don't really want to wear a coat, so I think I might take a scarf. Take my Fendi scarf instead. An extra layer. And then bag of the day. I think I'm gonna go for the Chanel, just because it's big enough to carry everything and it's got gold hardware. So I think this, this works. Right, I'll see you in London. Ooh, my hair looks big. I just air wrapped it. You love that air wrap now, don't you? I love it, yeah. I don't like doing my hair without it. Do you do it, do you use it every single day? Not every day, but every time that I dry my hair. You air wrap it as well. I'll air wrap it. Because the difference it makes, especially to like the ends of the hair, everything just looks curled and bouncy. It just adds this like new life into the hair rather than just like blow drying it straight or just or not blow drying it at all just like blasting it dry does nothing whereas yeah. this just makes me feel like is it the first of its kind yeah is it like there's, yeah. there's it's not like straightness like there's always been straightness yeah no it's it's a revolution it's a revolution because it works with airflow obviously to kind of keep the the health of the hair much much better right so it uses hot airflow but it doesn't work on short hair Oh yeah, it could work on short hair. Well, it could work on short hair that you're able to grasp a bit and you'd be able to right. get a bit of a curl out of it. But yeah, short, short hair, like mums wouldn't work. No, it wouldn't work, no. You'd have no real reason to use it. To be fair, you could use it with the brush attachment and you know, brush through it and use the airflow that way. Yeah, you could do that. Oh, I love this scarf too. This scarf I've had like a number of years. It's one of the best things I ever bought. Like it was pricey when I bought it. But I was like, do you know what? This doubles up as both pocket and a scarf. What make is it? Fendi. Is it? So I oh, love I it. I for remember just, shooting that actually. For just being able to stick my hands in it like little pockets. It is so good just for wearing over rather than wearing like big jackets. Do you mm. know what I mean? Your jacket looks nice, Mr. Ralph Lauren. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's real nice. Little Bobo's in his bag. The best thing we ever bought for Bo was this little Teddy Maximus dog carrier that like doubles as a bed and he's obsessed with it like it keeps him really calm and what do people always say safe. i wish my dog would sit around on a bed you got to introduce it to them when they're a puppy yeah he loves it you get that out of the closet and he just like jumps into it straight away he's like we're going on an adventure yeah yeah he, he just feels it. safe in it doesn't he yeah. and he's really calm every time he's in it people are like wow your dog is so chilled and calm and i'm like it's the bed the bed makes him very cozy and calm and safe but yeah as soon as we got Bo when he was like eight weeks old we took him for his first not walk we held him whilst we walked with him in the carrier 
and so he's had it since eight weeks just loves it and he's used to it i suppose if you introduced it as a bed around the house that'd be one way of like yeah that's a, a good a idea dog to start liking it yeah i guess yeah definitely yeah if it was just like a little bed hung, hanging around well that's how he likes it anyway we'll see you in london he's excited for shopping day Starting off the day with a little coffee. This is a new place, I've, I've never seen this before. We just spotted it down Swallow Street down here, just next to Joe Malone, Hagen. Wow, the coffee's good. Like really, really good coffee. And it's also warming up my hands. We've just dropped Bo off with, um, with Bryony. Makes me sad when we leave him, but he's gonna have a great time. He'll be on the sofa all day with his little flamingo. So be great. Right, we're starting off our shopping trip. Where should we start? <laughs> I kind of want to do, I don't want to do Burberry down the road. Or maybe we, oh no, Burberry's here. Also in a few hours time. All of the Regent Street lights will be coming on. So it's going to look so festive. Let's play the game, Vic. How old is Shakira? She looks phenomenal there. Doesn't That's she? not an age. Um, um, thir 36. Should I reckon 43. Wow, you reckon 40s? Yeah. Okay, one sec. Every, everyone make a guess. Everyone make a guess. What did you say? 43. She's 45? I said 45 to begin with down I there. I said 36. I'm, I'm losing my touch. I'm gaining your touch. How fantastic does she look in this dress? Guys, I am obsessed. The shape of this is so great. Have you seen the way the collar just swoops down? It's like a massive duvet sleeping bag, pretty much. But how fabulous is this? I really love it, like with the boots. And if, if you can see, like, because you've got the cherry here and the burgundy there, it's like a full outfit. I love it. I really need this for the slopes next week. Oh, how nice. How nice is that? That chain is absolutely stunning. This is, this is new. I've not seen this before. Let me take a picture. I love these boots. Look at that heel. The heel is so great. They just feel very yeah, like yeah. 60s, 60s vibe, don't they? With the white and the big black heel. So these will look amazing with that coat and the black bag. White black vibe. They're great. I'm also going to try on a pair of like, um, it's like a pair of hiking boots too, which are. I love these. These are so like utilitarian. I swear that's your favourite word. But chic. Just because it's the right yeah. word. Yeah, but these are great. You know, like going for actual like walks, especially for like après ski. Yeah, exactly. like, they've got really great, like grippy, thick soles. So these would be amazing, like on the slopes in a couple of weeks. This is what I wore to the show. Look, I wore that in New York to the show, didn't I? With the trousers. Loved that look. So this is everything now that was coming soon. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, that quality. It's like um, shit, like really thick shirt material. Oh, that's lovely. What a great shape, like like a wider straight leg. They are lovely. Oh, it's gorgeous. So we're in churches. I thought Alex might like to come and look at some boots, and then I ended up looking at some boots. Ended up finding some boots. <laughs> this is such such a fun day. Let me show you the boots that I've just got. So this is uh, the women's section. So these are the boots that I just got. Look how classic. Super classic shape, like tucked into leggings. Look, amazing. Yeah, they're really nice. Like oh, I love the toe on them. Yeah. Yeah, you would wear them all the time. Like chinos, beige trousers, even jeans, black trousers. These are very Charlie irons. They are very Charlie Very Charlie irons, irons yeah. aren't they? I bet you he's got a pair. I bet he's got, he, without a doubt, them. he's got a pair of these. He's probably got all three of those, hasn't he? This is super cute. How pretty is this coach display? I'm absolutely in love with the ski wear. This is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that waist. And then with the matching, um, this, this I'm obsessed with. This is gorgeous. I feel like I'd wear that around the house every single day. But this whole ski look with the trousers 
and then like that. I don't know if that has maybe its own matching. It's very retro, isn't it? It's I got, love it. It's got the I House of Gucci vibes. Yes, I absolutely <laughs> love that. The decor is really nice in here. Let's come into the new Malin and Goat shop. They've just opened on one of the little arcades because like every hotel I go to, there's always Malin and Goat on the sinks. So I thought, why not come in and see what their like best sellers are? Body washes. I do love like a pump action thing for in the shower. I didn't know that Malin and Goat also did fragrances. That's yeah. cool. This is my favourite thing though. This enormous dark rum candle. Triple wick, dark rum, and then imagine how nice this bowl will be when you finish the candle. Street shopping trip. We've just come to the Langham Hotel. I've not been here actually in a little while. I used to come here a lot for like different events. Anyway, they have a gorgeous kind of like afternoon tea room, like restaurant cafe. It's definitely not a cafe, it's definitely a restaurant. And they have like a festive afternoon tea. I've just come outside just so you can actually hear me, but the menu is unreal. There's like Stilton and scones and then a whole host of sandwiches and then cake and pastries and then truffles. So I'm just so excited. But it's dressed so beautifully in here. Look at all the trees. It's just actually nice to get off our feet. So we've done lots of shopping. We've been in lots of different places. Loved Coach, loved Tory Birch. Great time in churches, choosing our boots. Oh, such a really great day. Okay, so I have the vegetarian options, but I mentioned that I really like egg mayonnaise, so they brought me another plate just of egg mayonnaise sandwich. <laughs> Everyone, this is Eden. Hi. Cheers. 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 For tree number three. Next year you're only allowed a small tree. One small tree. Don't be silly. One small tree. <laughs> Things are getting ridiculous. <laughs> well, we had this last year and you didn't mind. Yes, I did. I was just quite bad. So I'm going to put the camera on here. So this red box is filled with extra ornaments, but I don't know if we're going to need them or not. So we've got most of the ornaments are in here. We've been very organised in getting all this done. So I reckon, and you've also got this rituals, rituals advent calendar. Ooh, I mean that's cool. It smells isn't it? so good, it smells. It does smell good. Ooh, ooh, they got these can candles in there. Yeah. Wow. Gosh, that's cool. I wonder if they're in that, those ones. Yeah, maybe we can put that up too. Okay. But for now, let's get everything up in here because we do have a lot of things to put up in here, don't we? Let's do it! <laughs> it looks even worse on camera. I kind of like it. <laughs> it looks even worse. Just put it along the top of there. Along the top of the... Uh... I kind of like it there. Christmassy sweet. No. No. In fact, no, we could put it. We could put it up the big black post in the hallway. Don't we have something that normally wraps around that? It's just very hard to put anything on it, to be honest. The other, the only other place I put it is you across did it. Last year. I know, but I don't know how you did it. I don't know if you attached it with tape or what. I think I just wrapped it. Or string, maybe. Maybe you held up, maybe you got some string around the very top of it. Not with that, it was a big long one I did it with. Well, I think this is maybe nicer. It's, too, it's not big enough. I don't want to wrap around like this much. Oh. That other thing's huge. Well then, I'll take that off there for sure and put it across here, because that's ugly. That ugly as hell. Please, remove immediately. <laughs> Hallway, looking so pretty. The lounge, looking magical. And now the orangery is back to an alpine retreat again. Ah, oh, beautiful. Hi. Hey. Hi, darling. Oh, got a good bit there. You just woken up. You looks like you just woke up. <laughs> Turn the lights on. Okay, turning 32 lights on. And then... I really like this artwork, but it is not right with this. <laughs> this doesn't quite match the mood of the Christmassy room. I need to change this and find like a Christmassy, Christmassy backdrop for this TV. 
and then this will be quite the picture. I've also just put down here, obviously this will be removed when the fire is on, but the Dior Advent Calendar, this is, oh, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful calendar filled with like candles and mini perfumes. It's a real treat. And this is on sale actually now. They never used to sell this, but you can now buy it. I'm guessing that in 24 is something really, really nice. So I have this here open because it is such a feature. So I've got a couple of my little baubles on the tree. I think I have here the bauble. A little gold, 14 karat gold, solid gold. Still just that come in one of the baubles. And then this is the four, ooh, little earring with four topaz stones in it. Little star shape. And then that is in the other bauble. Right, I'm gonna do it guys. I am going to work out. Don't want to, but I know I will feel good later if I've just moved my body. Let's rock and roll then. Peloton tread. Let's see how we go. I mean, it's, it's a very nice piece of kit, this. It's very, very nice. I do love how like slender it looks. It, it is cool in the black. Hmm. I really do detest running. <laughs> I don't like to run. I mean, I could maybe do like an uphill walk as well. We'll see. I feel like I might get into this as soon as I get going, but I'll, I'll let you know. However, we still have our other treadmill here in the middle of the floor that we need to move into the garage. You can see the sweat beading. That was awesome. I was um, quite lucky that like five hours ago was a Taylor Swift Midnight's ride, like literally all of the Midnight's album. Well, a lot of the songs are the Midnight's album. So I did that one and it was really, really good. I really, really enjoyed it. Half an hour. Not bad, not bad seeing as I don't run and I'm not very good at cardio things apart from the bike. And I think it was like three miles, I think, half an hour. Yeah, I feel like I nailed that. 30 minutes, not done too badly. Husband? Yeah. That was, that was really good. How did you enjoy it? Really enjoyed it. 30 minutes, I did. You proud of me? Yeah. 30 minutes. Is that a good class? I didn't stop apart from lining up my phone just so I could get a little bit of, of it for Instagram, just to show me, just to show the tread. But yeah, and it was a um, it was a Taylor Swift ride for a new album, so it was awesome. So it's better than that treadmill. Feels wider as well. A little bit. The the legs on the right and left are a bit wider, but mm, yeah, I really enjoyed it. It kept me interested because obviously she was saying stuff and talking, whereas on that I get a bit bored. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. We might have to sell this one. It needs going in the garage regardless, it needs to be protected somewhere, but yeah, I might sell this. If anyone's looking for a techno gym, techno gym treadmill, let us know. We might be in the market to buy this, I think. I think we might be, uh, yeah, I think we might want to sell the other one. Hello, my tiny one. Hello, hello. Oh, oh, it's just, <laughs> does Bobo want little tummy chickies? Tummy chickies. Oh, you are so sweet, darling. <laughs> you are so precious. Ever since I walked this morning, you have been sleeping and sleeping and then you got a nice bath, didn't you? So you're nice and fluffy and perfect. Hey guys. I need to top up my makeup. Me and Alex are going out tonight to a Ralph Lauren, Ralph's Club perfume event. Well, technically aftershave event, I guess. So we've both been invited, which is rather lovely. And we're going together as like a, a couple, a Ralph Lauren couple. I've got my dress hanging right there. It's stunning. Beautiful full length like blazer dress for the evening. Normally, if I'm going out later on, I wouldn't do my makeup up until literally the moment of having to, you know, go out. But I had a meeting earlier on, on Zoom. So I just need to now top up my makeup because I did this very early on and now it's like five o'clock and we're heading out for like a seven o'clock event in London. So we need to get the car there, etc. I mean, it is a little bit of rigmarole. It's really not too bad. You know, it doesn't make me wish that I lived closer to London when these things like happen because it's really not that difficult to get into London. So it's fine. We get the best of both worlds, which is nice. I just need to top up my makeup. So Clé de Peau foundation to start with. I'm gonna go Armani Power Fabric Concealer just to like freshen this all up as well. A real mess now, my makeup. When am I not in a rush 
for these things. No idea though what to do with my hair with that blazer dress. Do you know what? I almost feel like I might try air wrapping it again from dry and just give it a little bit more oomph again. I think that might be what I'll do. So the quicker I get my makeup done, the more time I've got to do my hair. <laughs> so let me just um, go away, get this done really quick. Okay, I have re-energised these curls a little bit. Wait, what's this one doing? What is this one doing? So I'm literally just like spraying it. I'm spraying it up with a little bit of all-in-one hair stuff. And then curling and then cool shutting it until it's completely like this but I, but I kind of want slightly bigger curls so I don't want to brush it out too much I want them to still be super curly on this side and almost like cling together a little bit so I'm gonna do that and then add loads of hairspray just to try and keep those curls in like this okay I think I'm done I've kind of, like I said, so I've kind of left the curls a little bigger than I usually would because I want to look a little bit more glammed up for this. I just realised I have not done my brows though. Yeah! I just need two minutes! My favourite lip gloss, Dior 640. Finish off the lips. Love this, this Melt Slick Waterline Pencil. This is really good for like... I can show you get a really slick smoky eye. Yeah, cool. Right, I need to get my dress on. So this is my look. I'm ready, I'm 10 minutes late, but it's okay. Don't have to worry about that. Um, it's a little big, so I have put um, a cute little belt on with it that isn't too branded, so hopefully it's okay. And yeah, it's full glam. We're going to Claridge's for the Ralph's Club party. Do you like it? Do you like That's it? great, it's like really it? cool, yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's a gorgeous dress. temperature has entirely entirely dropped at this point and it has got so cold <sighs> morning coffee i've just had to nip out to the shops um because because we'd run out of coffee well we'd run out of milk so i couldn't make myself coffee so i've got myself some milk <sighs> i've got myself my coffee Bo, it's just here so i just posted a new video and so when i posted that video i went and had a look at just like some of the the comments that had been on the last few videos um and first of all thank you for your excitement about us buying this place in manchester or looking for a place in manchester i just thought i'd give you a little bit more info because there were there were a couple of questions in the comments that i hadn't foreseen there's particular things that we hadn't sort of said in a little bit more detail so i think a couple of you are sort of confused about what's going on yeah so first question was are you selling the house so in terms of selling this house no we're not selling we're not selling this house no way <laughs> we've spent so many years now doing this up um, we've spent a lot of money making it into our dream home and honestly i love our house obviously we've just done the gardens um, we've done all of the interiors, I've just put brand new radiators in. We, we've got it literally to like the house that we've always dreamed of and we absolutely love it. We love where we live. I love that we have a bit of a countryside feel. I love that we're not in London, but if I need to get to London, I can. And so we're, in, we're just in a really lovely sort of setup here and we're, we're so happy. We, we just love it. So, so no, a lot of you were like, what? You're selling this house? I was, I was like, oh God. I, I really, um, I obviously was not clear at all when we were talking. I think we were just too excited talking through everything. But no, so yeah, we're not selling this house. This house we are absolutely keeping. So the idea of looking for a new place is to have a, a secondary place. Um, and I realise that's a very, very privileged position to be in. I completely understand that. It's just that we've been looking, like I said, we've been looking for a holiday home. Somewhere to rent out. Um, maybe like a buy to let sort of thing or just as a holiday home that we can 
allow people to come along to for their own holidays and that sort of thing and that's what I'd been looking for and then as soon as we started looking in Manchester we've been looking at particular places that you know maybe down the line that's something I could do and you know have it as like a holiday home but we just we've been having a few thoughts about it and actually we've almost changed our mind on what we want this secondary place to be and for what which I can tell you about in future videos when I've kind of worked it all out myself as well in my head but we've just got some new ideas at the moment we're still in the process of looking we think we found the dream place though we think we found it and I'm not gonna say it's ours until literally everything's signed and everything's signed on the dotted line because I don't want to jinx it but we think we found the absolute perfect place that we just love it is so us it's characterful it's interesting it's got a really beautiful interior feel to it and it's unlike anything else I've seen in Manchester so it's really really exciting for us and in terms of like when is the move when are we moving you know again it's it all completely depends if if we get the place that I'm hoping that we get, then hopefully we might have a new place by January, maybe even February. It could be quite quick. So fingers crossed, fingers crossed that this all goes through the way that I hope. Yeah, I'm trying to think what other questions there were because there's ones about, you know, are you still in the house? When will you be moving? But all of you just seem super excited for us and a lot of you are like, yay, you know, back to Manchester and we're super, super excited. Honestly, I can't tell you how much we just talk about the idea of going back, go there and spend weekends in Manchester again and go out for wonderful brunches in all the beautiful vegan cafes and go out for fantastic date nights together, but actually go out like to bars and have drinks late and stay out late, you know, and not have to drive home. We can just walk it home through the city. And like, that is really, really flipping exciting to us. It might not seem like a lot to everyone else, but just having that Manchester lifestyle back. Oh God, I've missed it so much. Yeah, so thanks everyone for your excitement. It's, it's a really exciting time. And obviously I feel so lucky that we're in a position that we're able to do this. I really do. It's something that I've been saving for now. For a couple of years, like I said, I've been looking for a holiday home. Yeah, it's been on the agenda for quite a while. We've just found the place and it's like, right, let's let's go for it. If you have any other questions though, let me know. Obviously over the next few weeks, I'm hoping as well to go and view this place that we think, we think is gonna be ours. I'd kind of love to bring you along to see that as well, to see some of it. It's got a concierge, it's got a big gated community feel and security of it, they have like their own security and everything else, which is fantastic. Anyway, yeah, let me know if you've got any other questions. But I am now gonna spend the rest of the day, um, I've got a Zoom call, got some e I've got some emails to do, I need to blow my nose. One thing I haven't shown you, look at this incredible, incredible gift that the Louis Vuitton team sent me personally, this advent calendar. Look how exquisite this is. It's a little Louis Vuitton trunk. It opens up into this magnificent advent calendar and I wasn't sure what was going to be inside of here. I mean, look how stunning that is. But door number one had this little prancing reindeer ornament in it. So I'm really, really excited now. In fact, should we do number two together? Let's do this definitely. Goodness, okay, I think this is a full calendar of Louis Vuitton ornaments, in which case, this is absolutely incredible. Louis Bear. I'll leave a link for it. If it is purchasable, I'll leave a link down below for it because it's so unexpected. And just the biggest thank you ever to the Louis Vuitton team for this. Just such an enormous treat. I love you and leave you and get on to the rest of my work. But if this is the end of the vlog, which it might be, thank you for watching Fromus. I hope you're enjoying it so far. I will be listing all of those handbags ASAP, but like I said in the last video, there's, well, there's an email address in the description box that if there are any that you really like, feel free to email that email address. I have someone working on this to get everything out quickly because there's no way I could have done it myself. So I've employed someone to help me with that task. If there is anything on that bag collection video that you're like, I really want that bag and you have a sensible offer for it, yeah, feel, feel free to email. Um, but yeah, I love you and leave you guys. Thank you for being here. I'll see you soon. <laughs>